Hey, everybody. We're going to do another one. It's it's on me because it's a jealous, guilty pleasure. Uh, another box-ish war kind of thing of the uh, Signature Archives. Again, nine spots, low right hand, low left hand serial number. Wins an extra box. In the case of a tie, we go to alphabetical order, last name of player. It is branded. Oh, well, that's embarrassing. Well, I mean, listen, it's not, I don't think that she has ever been pissed for like no reason. I guess is like what makes it what makes it worse. It's like every time I see she's pissed, I ha like I have to think back in my mind like, "Oh damn, what did I do?" And then as soon as she starts starts talking, I'm like, "Oh, that's right. That's what I did." All right, six is this random. We're just, uh, instead of picking your boxes, I'm just going to let the, the random gods do what they do. So we're going to go six times with the names. Three, four, five, and six. And get us uh, Reese on top. Grom on bottom. Then we're going to do our same thing with the numerals. Extra box being the winner box in this thing. Six times. Four, five. And the money shot. Right, so. I will show you what this particular thing looks like. Well, no, I mean, it's, it's, I mean, it's, listen, that's what it is, Chris Fitz. Like, she's never. She can be emotional sometimes unnecessarily but she's never mad for no reason I guess is the best way I can put it all right so I'm gonna sort by box number so that's gonna just make it a little bit easy for us to, to go through you'll see what I'm talking about here in uh, in just one minute Let's see what you got, boy. Let's see what you got. All right, so we're gonna take this front half. As per my, my normal system, it is one through five, six through ten. Let me back this up just so I can get a little bit of space for myself. All right, so number one, no name. That is the winner box. Number two, first box four. DeGrom. Let's see what we got. I mean, I don't know. It, would, it would make my life a lot easier if she was not a reasonable person. Hey, take it easy, man. We're going to get to you, okay? I'm not like a child. The always popular and highly sellable, and this is going to be a tough one to beat. One out of three for the Andres Galarraga. One out of three for Galarraga. That's going to be tough. That is going to be tough. I mean, a, a one of one beats it, but at this point, who knows? Let's see. All right, number three. Going to Skeeter. Yeah, being sold, what it's going to sell for is are two different things, but it is, that is a hell of a, hell of a card. And I am sorry, but we are, we already have a new, already have a new winner. This is from 1998. Are you ready, Skeeter? One of one, Mark McGuire. Season highlights, Mark McGuire, most home runs hit in a three-year span. Uno, e uno. I very much enjoy this stuff. First McGuire that I've seen, and it's a good card. All right, Skeeter, I mean, the, the M puts you in the middle of the pack if it comes down to a uh, one of one battle. So we got Kid AC with the next two. All right, 
not going to win, but, I mean, especially for the South Florida area, it is a big card, bigger than you would think. Six out of 14 for the only traditional Marlin superstar, Jeff Conine, who is still to this day talked about in Florida circles. I mean, still respected in the community. And is relatively collectible. I mean, my, my wife is a uh, Jeff Conine fan, and she doesn't even watch the uh, watch the baseball. Three out of three, so another low number. Not low enough to do us anything. He's a future star, and apparently an all-star as well, because you got to be an all-star to be in this set. Three out of three, Mark Mulder. I I think it is Fox Mulder's cousin or uh, like nephew, I believe. Fox Mulder's nephew. But uh, I mean, he's a big boy, 6'6, 200. Lefty. Acquired number one. Acquired number one. These are fun, man. These are just fun. Number six, Regis' first box. Well, that is an interesting fact. Uh, Carol Play is an interesting fact. Uh-oh, another, another power player. Number's not going to help. 45 out of 78. It is, it is a little bit high-numbered. It is Omar Vizquel. Is Omar Vizquel. I mean, again, popular. Popular with two collectors. But not going to help us. All right, DeGrom with number seven. Mm, no, it's all it's all older guys. All older ones. Night, I. I think I might have had this card too. No, this is a little. No, this is too early for me. Nineteen seventy-nine. Six out of sixteen for the Reds. Ken Griffey. I was gonna say junior, but a senior. You always want to say say junior, but Ken Griffey senior for. The Grom. It's old. It's fun. It's nice. I like it. Who is next? Regis. Last chance for Regis to pull a uh, Uno Uno out of his butt that is has a number or a letter lower than Mark McGuire. More of our sellable action. Eight out of thirty-one. I don't know, maybe Tops knew something when they put this out. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. My mistake. I got the... These these Spaniards all look the all look the same to me. Carlos Baerga. Old Carly Baerga. Sorry, Regis. Sorry. Sorry about that. Alright. Skeeter's last shot. Or not, not last shot. Skeeter's the one that's in that's in the lead. All right, we've seen him before. Not terrible. I mean, again, he was good when he played. Three out of thirty-three. Darren Dalton. I mean, they've all got that mustache. You know, it's it's hard it's hard to tell. And this is last chance to beat the McGuire one of one. Here's Kate Acey. Let's see what we've got. Excellent, excellent player. It's not going to do it. 20 out of 29, though. I remember him as a White Sox, not so much as an A. But Harold Baines. Excellent player. Excellent player. 79 rookie year or 80 rookie year. Crazy. Just crazy. All right. All right. 
You have one, Mr. Davis. Let's see what, which get out of this. I mean, this no one of one. That means there is still a one of one hanging around in there. It's old school. Okay. Interesting. Interesting and odd all at the same time. Double odd, actually. It's from 1982. It is a Yankee. It is number 14 out of 134. Oh, okay. I'm I'm a dumbass. It's Bucky Dent. It's one where they put like the fake auto on it, and then he's got a real auto on top of it. So I mean you could sell this as like a dual Bucky Dent and Bucky Dent auto if you if you so wanted to. That 134 is really, really odd. I've not that's like up until that point, like 26 was like the highest that I'd seen. I mean something along those lines.